Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to a little more 7 Days to Die Alpha 12. Never mind me as I put a bunch of tools into the cupboard up here. Last episode had an inadvertent horde. That's really not the kind of horde you want. You really want a planned horde. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get one on the morning of day 7. Thought the, you know, evening of day 7, the early, late morning, whatever, early morning of day 8. Sure, but nope was not to be. That's what I came outside for, because if you look at the clock, yeah, it's about noon on day seven, and that thing is pretty far away. And I'm just going to run until I cannot run anymore. That's actually good enough, because my infection is so raging here that I might not actually be able to continue to run, even with beer. Ah, don't go away, my friend. Don't go away. So I do have a raging infection that I need to take care of. I have not been lucky enough to find any antibiotics on a nurse. I have not found any antibiotics in a medicine cabinet. I haven't even really found many buildings in this particular game save yet. I've really not done a whole lot. It's kind of discouraging on the one hand, just because it feels like I haven't really done anything. But on the other, it is kind of nice to feel like it's actually taking a while to get stuff done. As you saw with me putting away all sorts of weapons, tools, etc. at the very beginning of this episode, I was busy crafting. I'm going to slow down for just a moment here. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a bear behind me, but I'm just trying to give my stamina a chance to regenerate. Ah, I'm going to answer a question now. Does it continue to smoke when it's on the ground? Since I presume it landed. Good. Look at that. It's in a tree. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. It's in a tree. It's on the ground. And it continues to smoke on the ground. Good. I've been wondering that. But as I was saying, I have done a fair amount of crafting. We're going to search that bad boy. And yeah, I am so going to take that. In fact, let's just use that right now. Perfect. I am no longer going to die. Go away. That crate was a lifesaver, quite literally. Good. Now I can head back to my house. But you know what? I need to do something first. And this has something to do with all that crafting I was trying to tell you about, but kept sidetracking myself with other things before I could spit the words out. So let's do this first off. I need some more sticks. 16 will be fine. In the meantime, let's go ahead and read this crossbow bolt schematic. This is the exploding crossbow bolt. This was just added in 12.2, so in addition to some game-breaking bugs, there are lovely things like exploding crossbow bolts. Now, game-breaking bugs. What am I talking about? Well, this isn't game-breaking, this particular one, but let's demonstrate. So I have five iron arrows, right? Let me switch to my bow. Alt-R is the command in the game to switch between ammunition. You'll have to trust me that I'm hitting it a lot, and it's doing nothing. Yeah, you can't switch ammunition. So you can do it this way, though. You can load, and then you're good. Look at that. I now have a bunch of iron arrows. So that's one of the things I was doing last night. I basically made a bunch of iron arrows. And you know what? I would like to test one out. Ah, sure, we can go ahead and take it. Why not? I don't really want to test it on you, because I don't want to waste an arrow on you. If... Ah, see? That's why I didn't want to test it on him. There we go. That did the job. I don't want to use too many on him, but that was absolutely worth it, because I got free oil in a pipe. Here, let's go ahead and switch to this guy. Oh, feathers. Ah, boo. Anyway, as I was saying, I did a lot of crafting, so I made a bunch of iron arrows. Hello, madam. Oh, you're going to turn as soon as I get close to you. That doesn't seem fair. Whatever. She was playing possum. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of... Holy cow, there are a bunch of nests over here. I'm going to hit all three of these. Did you see the third one? Yeah, right there. We'll go ahead and take that. Sure, why not? Okay, so I was trying to head back home. And I do want to stop and just show you the quality of the stuff that I picked up here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just looking to make sure there's nothing around. So my bow is a 157. My axe is a 169. It's not great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say these are fantastic or anything along those lines. But they are actually a far sight better than what I had before. So in that sense, they're an improvement. What in the heck? Where am I? Aha. There we go. Sorry, I was looking around before because, yeah, that's why right there. That red flag is where the last 
supply crate landed. And I was just kind of curious where that one was relative to where I am. I'm going to head toward the road here. There's actually no need for me to go home. If I look at what I'm carrying right now, eh, mm, I would like some more pipes, honestly. Here, let's go ahead and do two of these, because I've been really curious and been meaning to find out. It's actually not going to be enough, but it'll give me an idea. Let's see, what sort of damage do you do now? 12.71. I, You know what? Ah, oh, man, I hate using all these pipes when I don't have a bunch of them lying around ready to go. Is that going to be enough to repair this guy to full? 17.04. It needs one more point, and then it's at full. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to this club, since it does a little more damage than my knife. I am totally on board with that. In fact, here, let's go test it out on her. Madam, I would like to ask you a question. Does this feel good? Hmm. That was not even a critical. If that's the case, I am feeling really good about things then. Granted, this thing will degrade pretty quickly to the point where it no longer is an instant kill if that's what that was. She could have been injured from fighting a bear or something. I, I don't know that it one-shotted her, but... Ah, uh, where's the road? This way. But I am feeling pretty good if it is a bit of a one-shot wonder. Let's go ahead and put that down there. Get rid of the sham. It's not very good anymore. I hear a bear. There it is. It's going after a zombie. Good. Get that zombie. It was saying mean, nasty things about your bear brethren. Your bear brethren? Yeah, never mind. That doesn't work. One more. And let's go ahead and chomp down. Chomp down, drink down some water. Why not? Chug a lug. Of course, it's a little different these days. In Alpha 12, they have... They, the devs, of course, have changed how things work in terms of biomes. You get a bit more smooth transition from one biome to another. I will definitely take that, I guess. I was going to say I'll definitely stop and check the trash, because you never know, I might have a forge book. Gunpowder, I suppose, could be useful too, but it does work a little differently how you find things these days in terms of buildings. So as we're getting higher into elevation, then we're kind of going into a snowy area. That is most definitely a better shotgun than the one I have, and I'm willing to bet you those gloves are better than what I'm wearing. Let's take a look. Yeah. I was actually thinking I should probably stop and make some scrap iron stuff, and I just haven't. Iron arrowhead. I'll go ahead and take that. Sure, why not? I still have a few on me, so it's not like I'm necessarily needing those per se, but I will take them. I am hopeful, though, that I can follow this road and find some sort of, oh, I don't know, point of interest, something. I don't know how far I need to go and even where it's going to go to. Well, not that I necessarily should know where it would go to, but it's a little different these days just because of how things work. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do that, because I can scrap those guys. That'll free up a couple spots. I'm actually going to drop the glue. Can I turn you into leather? Inventory is full. That's one of the game-breaking bugs I was worried about. And unless you have that item already in your inventory, the thing you're trying to make, sometimes crafting doesn't work in 12.2. It's kind of a pain. Now, of course, I'm actually recording this a couple days in advance of when it's being posted. That's more or less standard for me. So it's entirely possible by the time this episode is posted that the devs will have addressed that. Now, if you're asking yourself, hey, KIC, didn't you see that building on the right? Yeah. I just want to run down the road a little more just to see what else there is, that's all. Hello, purple pistol parts. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Oh, let's go ahead and wear that. That's better than what I was wearing, I think. Pump shotgun stock. You are an 84. Or you are worse than mine. Okay. We'll go check that out in just a minute. Like I said, I wanted to run down this, this road a little bit more just to see. I feel like there should be something along the road at any time. Or at least that there's a possibility there could be. Go ahead and check that guy out. I always like checking the nest. Sure, we'll take an egg. Not a big fan of the eggs right now, just because you need pork to make the most out of them. 
Never mind, you also need a grill. I don't have a grill and I don't have any pork, and I'm probably not in a point right now where I'm ready to start hunting and putting together all that sort of good food stuff. Let's go ahead and turn back to this cabin or lodge or whatever it is. Maybe it's a luxury cabin. Seems like from what I've read, those are fairly common to spawn along the sides of roads. Yeah, see, I think that other zombie was a little injured. Or I got a critical and it just didn't give me the noise. That would be a luxury cabin. That's definitely not my luxury cabin. I say mine because I took it over and you can't kick me out of it. Zombies might. You know, I thought about it a little bit too. In that last episode, I had a horde come get me. It's probably fortunate for me that I was not inside. I didn't have any sort of defense set up in that building because I was not expecting a horde on, well, the morning of day seven. Curious if it'll go down in two. I hope so. Good. That's good to know. These arrows are definitely more effective. Ah, right. I lost him in the bow. Ah, I knew that was going to be low. It's all right. All right. You know what? I'm not wasting another arrow on you. You, you are not worthy of another arrow. But I really do think I was fortunate to be out trying to chop some wood down because I knew I was going to be doing some more crafting, making bows, making arrows, all sorts of wonderful things along those lines. Had I been inside without any sort of defense whatsoever, I think there's a good chance I would have died inside. Which, of course, would have solved my particular problem, that being infection, but... Oh man, there's a little crawler guy in there, in case you didn't see him. Wasted a good couple arrows on that big guy, that's a shame. Oh, that was not good. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a chance to loot these guys either. Come on. You're going to die, your friend is going to die, your friend's friend is going to die. Your friend's friend's friend is also going to die, but it's going to take me a little while longer. Yeah, let's go ahead and take care of that. I probably shouldn't use that one. Oh well, too late. I already did. Hmm, gonna leave that for now. Let's back up a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Oh, that was right in the shoulder. That was... That wasn't good. There we go. That was nice in, in throat, I guess. Ah, oh, man. I am not having a good aiming day with the bow. Not at all. I know, I shouldn't even... You know what? I'm done. I shouldn't have even shot that one at him. That was a waste of an arrow. Granted, I do have some more arrowheads remaining, so it's not like all is lost. But still, I shouldn't have shot that one. Lots of zombies spawning around me, which is kind of annoying. I mean, they weren't all here a moment ago, and now they all are. Just the way things go sometimes. That was a shoulder shot, I think. No, that was a headshot. That's good. He doesn't have anything on him. Folks, no, I'm still around. Although I don't think everyone does. Someone else definitely does. Wow, look at that. Two nurses, they each gave me a first aid kit. What are the chances I'll get a third one off of this one? Not good, I don't think. She looks all shiny. Have you noticed that? Reflections in this game, I think, are still messed up. I know it's raining, but it just doesn't look right to me. Like, it shouldn't be that shiny. Not good. Now no one knows I'm around, so I can get in here. Let's go in this way. That's a fast way. I should have a bunch of frames. So we'll go ahead and put those guys right there. And I'll just put you back on the bar, and I can go ahead and upgrade them. That's as far as I'm going to go. I don't need to go any more with them, I don't think. Go and check out the bookcase. And of course, beer. No beer. Let's go ahead and take that. I'm not going to grab the cans right now. Looks like there are at least a couple of them, so maybe I'll decide to grab those in a minute. Just thought I'd kind of look for everything else first. I don't really need all this extra water that I'm carrying now. Too late, though. How about you? Nope. Someone's going to know I'm in here. Let's go ahead and upgrade that one. That'll be fine. There is theoretically still a door upstairs that I can use to get out. 
Well, I mean, I gotta chop it down first, but you know what I mean. Okay, who's doing what here? Someone's banging on something. Is it upstairs? Where is it? Oh, it's you. What are you doing? I'm going to ignore you then. Here, I'm going to go in here. Anything in the bathroom? Ah, look at that, a blood bag and some vitamins. I will go ahead and use those right now. I will take that 0.5 or 0.4 wellness, whatever it is. That door is locked. Figured that one would be. That right there is a pretty good find. We'll just go ahead and wear that right now. I think those are going to be better than what I'm wearing. Nope. That's the second time I've done that. Although, I should scrap that. Can I go ahead and scrap those? Good. There we go. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to get in. Let's go ahead and take care of you. Yeah, I know. This thing's kind of wimpy. Sorry, man. I, I really would have liked to kill you faster. I guess I'll take that since I've been carrying some other stuff around. Cloth is my friend. I will take Cloth. I started doing this in my last series, collecting lots and lots of cloth. You never know when you might need it. It's getting to be pretty dark out. I do technically still have a couple of hours, so I'm going to continue on into the late evening. Where am I at? Let's take a look at the map. That way. So, theoretically, I want to keep going... Hmm. Let's keep going south. That'll work. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep going south. I'm going to follow that road. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow the road. That sounds like a good idea. I'd really like to find something along the road there. And uh seems to be the best way to do it is to follow it, right? Ooh, not a bad flashlight. Hmm. We'll do that. I'll exchange a crummy football helmet for a flashlight. Why not? Seems like a good idea. Can always attach that to a gun later on. But for now, I'm going to call it an episode. So I will catch you on the next one. Without an infection, finally. That makes me pretty happy. So, thanks for watching. See you later.